Hello again everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up your water meter and totalizers. So from the main screen you want to hit set up run. Go into totalizers. If you don't have any auxiliary flow meters ordered that might actually say water meters. Uh, we use uh, this screen for both auxiliary flow meters and water meters so it's always number nine though. Go into number nine you see we've got system one meters water meter one and water meter two go into water meter one and now you see we've got our settings here right now there's no total value there is no flow rate the contact value is set on one gallon per contact and it was last reset on December 7th so the first thing you want to do is go into contact unit I'm sorry contact value and tell it I'm gonna change this because my water meter is a 100 gallon per contact meter you want to go into contact unit this one currently is set up correct gallon per contact but we can also take in Hall effect meters and all kinds of different meters so you've got some options here you can change it from gallon per contact to liters per contact to uh, cubic feet per contact milliliters per contact pulses per gallon, pulses per liter, pulses per cubic feet, pulses per ounce, and pulses per milliliter. So you see we've got a lot of options if you want to use a paddle wheel type meter or any other type of meter we can we can bring those in. So right now I'm gonna go gallons per contact though because that's a pretty standard uh, unit. You can go in to reset your water meter total if you want to at any given time. You can also set a debounce. Uh, the debounce is meant to prevent um, a, if you've got a reed switch in a water meter that's getting faulty. Sometimes they'll send double hits or triple hits, uh, which we can count. Uh, so what we can set is this. It's called a debounce, which basically you're telling the controller to, I only want to see one pulse every so many seconds. So if you know you've got a 100 gallon per contact unit and it takes at least a couple of minutes to go around and hit another uh, hit another pulse you can set that on two or three seconds and make sure you don't get a, a double hit uh, every time cycles calculation if you turn this on you can essentially tell it what we what water meter is your bleed and it'll uh, keep track of your incoming and outgoing uh, water like that we can also do an evaporation calculation, which effectively you're telling it water meter one minus water meter two or vice versa. And that is how you set up a water meter on your Megatron line of controller. If you get stuck though, I encourage you to call us at our home office at 800-743-7431 and our customer service department will be happy to walk you through the, the necessary steps. Thank you again for your purchase and have a great day.